lesson two, primitive functions two. Now, in these, this lesson, we're going to examine uh, various ways of integrating or find the primitive function from these um, these functions. Now, in this particular case here, you've got the cube root of x squared. Now, to be able to find the primitive of that and apply the rule, we first have to put that in the index form. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I'll rewrite that as the integral of now that'll be one third because the cube root is raised to the third all squared dx and that is equal to the integral of x to the we multiply these indices to the two thirds. Well now we can apply the rule. And remember the rule is we add one to the power. So 1 plus 2 thirds is 5 thirds. And we divide that by 5 thirds. And don't forget our constant of integration, C. Now we don't leave it like that because when we uh, divide that, it will uh, invert and multiply. So that becomes 3x to the 5 thirds over 5 plus C. And you can leave it in that in that index that's index form. All right. Now the next example, we have to find the integral of x times the square root of x dx. Now there's no uh, real product rule in uh, integration, although there's a more advanced rule called the integration by parts. But you would not use that technique for doing this one. Again, we'd rewrite that in the index form. And that would be equal to x times x to the half dx. And then applying our rules indices, we add the indices together. So it's a 1 there. So that becomes x to the 3 on 2. Just, just remember now, you haven't integrated anything. You're just changing it ready to integrate the function. Now we apply our rule. So we add 1 to the index, so 3 on 2 plus 1 is 5 on 2, over 5 on 2, plus c. And that becomes 2x to the 5 on 2, all over 5, plus your constant. OK, <coughs> number 3. We have to find the integral of the square root of x times the square root of x plus 1. Now to do this, we need to remove the brackets. So that's going to be equals. Now root x by root x is just x. And root x times 1 is just root x. But we'll write this x to the power of half. So we can integrate that directly. And that becomes, now with this one, we add 1 to the index, which becomes x squared over 2, plus add 1 to this one, becomes x to the 3 on 2 over 3 on 2, plus our constant. And this becomes x squared over 2, plus 2x to the 3 over 2 over 3, plus a constant. And that's OK. If you want to just change this around a little bit, you could rewrite it as x to the 3 on 2 is x root x over 3. Just if you want to bring back that sign. But both, both forms are acceptable. 